the seaside train takes the passengers back in time. Let's join them in their journey in search of the stories of many years past. The seas off Samchok, the southernmost part of Kaiwan province, are considered the most beautiful along the eastern coastline. The waters are shallow, beckoning to all visitors, like a mother welcoming her child. The Samchok Ocean Rail Bike is one way to enjoy the sea. The magnificent view of the coastline makes up a natural panorama. Past the ocean tunnel, home to all year long dazzling lights, is the last stop. From here, a 15 minute trip will lead to Changho Harbor, a pristine natural resort. With the water so clear and inviting, everyone wants to ride the see-through canoe. <laughs> Those who wish to see more take up snorkeling. <laughs> it's the best way to communicate directly with the curious underwater world. It's interesting to see the water in the water, and to see the fish in the sea, and to see the fish in the sea. Tokhan Mountain, also called the Korean Grand Canyon, is home to the Daedong Cave region. A monorail carries the visitors up the mountain, through the secret passage, and into an underground world created millions of years ago. Upon entering the cave, the visitors are welcomed by an 8-metre-high waterfall. An ample amount of cave water, whose source is unknown, flows through the rocks.
the flowing water on the ground gives the impression of glittering stars. The general square is filled with masterpieces shaped by Mother Nature. The cave corals sparkle in the darkness, along with the other inhabitants, turning the cave into a natural museum. Thanks to the water that has been flowing for millions of years, the cave remains alive. The Chunjian Lake is the last part of today's time travel. No one knows where the water comes from, but perhaps the source is not too far away. The seas of Samchok are a witness to history. At the Isabu Lion Park, you can listen to the stories of the past. The uncanny wooden lion statues will grab your attention. These statues have remained as the pride of Samchok. They are also the sign of a brilliant culture. Life flourished here by the Oship stream. The stream flows from the border between Samchok and Tebek, right through Samchok and into the East Sea. It's the longest meandering waterway in the eastern coast of Korea and provides life to Samchok. On a cliff standing over Orship Stream rests the Juksa Pavilion. It 
It's the largest existing pavilion to date, and it shows the marvels of a construction inspired by nature. The Juxo Pavilion bears the writings of classical scholars who praise the scenic location. Their appreciation for nature is woven into poetry. Within the grounds of the pavilion, there is the Yongmun Stone. The story goes that a guardian dragon pierced through the rock. There's something mystical about the hole, maybe because of the legend that your wish will come true if you pass through the hole. There are many reminders of dragons in Samchok. By far the best known one is Yongso Valley in Ungbong Mountain. The first Yongso waterfall appears dangerous but has a mysterious air to it. It's primitive, untouched. The second Yongso waterfall features old pine trees growing from the steep cliff. The view is like a landscape painting. The Huangjiang trees are known as some of the highest quality pine trees and they are in abundance in Samchok. In fact, they were often used in palaces. These trees do not give way or rot easily. They hold themselves upright against wind and adversaries. Isn't this the real reason they were chosen by the royalty? The remote mountains of Kangwon province were the homes of slash and burn farmers. This old lady can vouch for the history of this old house. This house was built in the Shingle roofs allow excellent ventilation in summer. When it rains, 
Noa absorbs moisture and prevents leakage. In winter, the roofs act as an effective insulator. A Noa house features the kitchen, rooms and stables all under one roof, protecting people and livestock alike. It's the evidence of old wisdom. Moreover, as candles and oil were hard to come by in the mountains, there were furnaces powered by wood. They kept winter winds at bay and lit up the night. The normally quiet Nawa village bursts into activity the next day. Visitors have come to experience the village life. <laughs> Beans grow easily in the barren lands of Gangwon province. The past farmers were quick to include this nutritious food in their diet. Many dishes based on beans were developed, including homemade bean curd. Now, they are busy pounding duck or glutinous rice cake. <laughs> Once nicely pounded, the glutinous rice is coated in bean flour and cut into pieces. This is injolmi. At a fishing village in Samchok, there is a tradition of carving wooden phallic structures to repel misfortunes. The sight elicits awkward laughter. Yeah, I man. <laughs> the folk custom behind these structures is based on an old story. Legend has it that after a virgin woman drowned in the sea, the fishermen struggled to catch any fish. Then, one day, one man urinated toward the sea, and after that, the fishermen started getting a big catch again. So the village people built phallic structures as a way to appease her spirit.
As the sun rises, Chang'o Harbor buzzes with activity. The ruckus of seagulls signals the return of fishing boats. The freshly caught seasonal fish is very popular here. <laughs> the fishermen are fatigued after being out at sea all night. However, Earning a hefty paycheck for their catches brings a spring to their steps. The sea is always a source of excitement. Samchok is a region that goes back millions of years. with numerous stories attached to each location. Where timeless nature awaits, it's Samchok of Korea.